What is it? Wounded badly, losing strength. Any of you? You there? Have you seen my squad? We were all in the little Alkash, part of the Dominion fleet sailing for Kanathi's roost. Then a hurricane blew up out of nowhere. Sails tore, hulls cracked, and we were thrown into the ocean. I ended up here. I can't find the rest of my squad. I thought I heard one of them calling out, but the ocean twists up sounds. If they're wounded or pinned down, could you keep an eye out for my soldiers? They answer to Edelus, Onglon, and Nistel. Two of us can cover more ground. I'm sure my squad made it to shore alive. Dominion Marines constantly defy the sea's attempts to drown us. But hurricanes have another matter. I fear my squad is banged up worse than I am. 
Our ship's hold was packed full of an old Bosma healing remedy. The labels say Torchbug Treacle, but Marines call it Glow Juice. The wreck scattered bottles across the beach must be what brought out the Aelids. Squat creatures made of teeth, claws, and endless hunger. I've heard their cries up and down the beach since I came to. Their sweet tooth is bigger than their walnut brains. I saw one of the stupid things swallow a whole bottle of blow juice. Good luck. Do me a favor. If you find them before I do, tell them the ocean hasn't killed me yet. Who are you? Were you part of the fleet? Alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Cracked a few ribs. Not the best feeling. Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. But if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. Good. I'll find Sergeant Firion. Go. Get them back safe. I lost a lot of friends in that storm. Give me some good news. I saw her swept overboard in that damn storm. Held on to the rigging long as I could, but it tore the skin off my palms. If I can't hold a weapon, I'm useless to my squad. Do you have any bandages? I lost my kit to the sea. Blow juice? Used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. Once I can heft Spleen Shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. How about you? Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose.
place, Ifra. I'm glad you came by. Have you seen any other Marines along the beach? She's alive. I suppose that's some luck amidst all this wreckage. Can't say the same for my leg. If I don't put too much weight on it, I can manage a good hobble. Glow juice? By the gods, it just might. Soon as I can stand on my own, I'll head inland. Lieutenant Gellin dragged me out of the water. He'll want to know Sergeant Firion and the rest of the squad are all right. I think he said something about looking for shelter in a nearby cave, but I was still coughing up sand. Turns out my squad were the ones who found me. Ever considered? You'd make quite a scout. My squad said you were looking for Lieutenant Gellin. Have you found him? What do you mean? First, a hurricane blows out of nowhere and destroys our fleet. Then, an able bodied Dominion Marine is captured and tortured to death. What else was in that cave? Some kind of sacrifice? This is too big for my squad to handle. We need reinforcements. Nistel spotted a beach ship nearby. It looks intact, and she spotted Dominion sailors aboard. We need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad and I need to pull his body out of that damn cave. Would you warn the sailors on that beach ship? They need to know it's not safe to wander around. Wait, take this. I found some glow juice while I was looking for my squad, but they're on the mend. You'll get used to the taste. We'll be along shortly. Watch yourself.
want a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbaged mouth castaway. State your business with the crew of the Prowler. The hurricane killed hundreds of Marines. Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in the wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your Marines can prove they're more than two-legged cargo and shiny armor. If they pitch in, they'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the Hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. Oh, and our Sun Sighter. It must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink-fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the Sun Sighter back, any way you can. Talking's easier than working. Barnacles on the arse. They're all sea elves. Malmer, they call themselves. Nothing more than pirates, if you ask me. Some say they have a connection to the water itself, but it's a lie. Anyone can learn weather magic like they do. Captain Jimela uses it to navigate. I could tell you how the sun and stars show the ship's exact position, but none of it matters while it's in the Sea Viper's hands. The pride of the long coast. We'll sail for the Dominion as long as they pay us to raid enemy shipping. Joan and Jode, don't let the captain hear you say that. Pirates steal and pillage for themselves. We're privateers. So we do it for whoever pays us. A crucial distinction. Captain Jimela took over the Prowler a few years ago. She's smart, cunning, and deadly dangerous when provoked. She's also luckier than anyone I served. Every ship in the fleet smashed to flinders on Kenarthi's roost. Every ship but the Prowler. Aren't Dominion sailors? They're privateers. Just our luck. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do.
Edelus is the best scrounger in the regiment. If you want, I can send him out to look for a helmsman's wheel. He's on his way. Anything else we can do? Nustel is as good with a mallet as she is with her sword. I can have her patch the prowler's leaks. She'll have those leaks fixed in no time. What else? Onglorn is our best tracker. He can recover the Sun Sider in no time. I almost pity the Sea Viper who's holding on to the Sun Sider. Onglorn will recover it soon enough. What else needs doing? But it's time for that mangy privateer to make good on his promise. Maybe you should do the talking. I'll just rub it in. That was fast. All right. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends, as long as they work for their meals. I said I'd consider it. Captain Jimmler is the only one who can make that call. Something you'll want to hear. You just made the prowler seaworthy, and Captain Jimmler always pays her debts. Go talk to her. She only bites if you give her good reason. Your efforts, the Prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those Marines did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, and I know how to stop it. Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals so we might repair the prowler. We thought they disappeared, but one just returned, and she tells a harrowing tale. The sea vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing, and I fear they're the cause of it. Mustangui recovers below. Hear what she has to say for yourself. The Sea Vipers are insane! They're trying to create another hurricane! Sir Verkvild and I were scavenging for a replacement helmsman's wheel when the Sea Vipers ambushed us. They brought us to the island with the beached Dominion flagship. They'd done things there. Terrible things. Those filthy Maormur dragged my mates up and tied them to these serpent-shaped statues. 
Then they started chanting, and lightning surrounded them. That's when the storm began to form around the island. Yes, I'm sure of it. It was a terrible sight. The sea vipers were so caught up in the ritual, I slipped free. I tried to grab Sir, but the lightning held him fast. Then one of the sea vipers yanked at him. I saw the Maurimur's wrist glow. The Maurimur wore lodestones on their wrists. It let them ignore those lightning bombs, but I couldn't find any more. So I jumped off the ship and swam for it. Please, don't let them sacrifice my crewmates.
This one welcomes you back. Choose a room. Perseverance is a virtue, my friend. Bright moons have all its rewards. Terrific! A blessing from the divine! A marvelous reward. Sadly, you have no...
Sur and Workfield return just after the sky is cleared up. They're a bit damp, but otherwise all right. My lookout says I have you to thank. Then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. Oh, your marine friends fended off sea vipers while you rescued my crew. They're welcome aboard, as long as they want. Perhaps we'll see you at Mistral. 
You'll always have a place on the Prowler. Get away soon, Captain!
all this wasted air. First the hurricane, then rats from the sea. What next, flying mud crabs? Surrender's mercy. We need more time before the inspection. Dominion inspectors. Headwoman Harani requested their aid to stop smugglers. We're honest farmers with good customers. Our moon sugar is used to spice food, not to brew skooma. When the inspectors learn we can't protect our fields, we're finished. Hairy, squirmy, squeaky little rats. They've infested the plantation since the storm. The inspectors will ask, if we can't protect our fields from those dung-dropping sugar-eaters, how can we protect them from skooma-brewing thieves? Find out why Cindertail singe tigers roll on their backs instead of filling their bellies with rat. Does one expect to keep his job if the inspectors find vermin in our fields? At best, the inspectors will recommend our moon sugar be confiscated. To the east, a plantation burns. Was it due to the inspector's recommendations? Who can say? Either way, Mistral will weep for our passing. With laughing moons gone, skooma will flow through the streets. When moon sugar runs dry, people turn to smugglers. With smugglers come skooma. But the inspectors aren't from here. If we tell them, they will not listen. Find out why Cindertail's singe tigers roll on their backs instead of filling their bellies with rats. Look at you, Afe, lazing about like a sun-drunk serpent. To think you were once our greatest hunter. Want to buy a carpet? How about three? They aren't good for much else. Yes, Afe, even you. Do not eat the rats, this one says. Do they listen? No! Stupid sench. Lazy sench. They already did. That's the problem. Moon sugar makes you sleepy if you eat too much. Rats eat moon sugar, sench eat rats, and then lazy sench. Especially you, Gobani. Not with sugar bellies. These useless sench could only kill a rat if they fell upon it. From a great height. Go inside, lock the doors, wait until they leave. No. Let this one think. Without sench hunters, what could... Thunderbugs? <laughs> no. It would never work. Thunderbugs nest nearby. They defend their delicious eggs from anyone who'd make a meal of them, yes? If you grabbed an armload of eggs... Undoubtedly. But they'd hesitate to harm the eggs once you possess them. Smash an egg into each rat nest, and the Thunderbug's electric frenzy kills the rats before the inspectors arrive. You're sturdy, yes? A little shot won't stop you. Wonderful! Save some eggs for Cindertail, yes? They are so very tasty.
to do so little time. There's no question, Jurandara. Clever luring Thunderbugs out of their mounds like that. A scheme worthy of Vandar himself. They're all gone then. Excellent. Our gracious inspector has been most patient with us. Perhaps witnessing your ingenuity will affect his findings. Joan and Joe dance kindly with you, Walker. Whatever the findings of our esteemed inspector, we are in your debt. Naturally. Will you be dining with us as well? Um, that will not be necessary. Kajiti Fair is too... cultural for my palate. I know how long I've been looking for you. Fascinating application of the technique. Now I know Over some here. of you are wondering we why I ban necromancy in my I. classroom. Trust me, the smell alone is worth steering clear. If you came for crafting certification, I can assist you. I call this Shalador's legacy. The great man himself was the pioneer of this technique. Well, I was about to portal to Eleanor for a proper meal. But since you're here now, we might as well discuss that message. It came from Mariv, an oracle of the weird. I usually avoid soothsayers, but Mariv possesses a genuine talent. Down to the last syllable. Her predictions are open to interpretation, but her words made me uneasy. A web of trouble. The island that went away. 
three dark princes, and your name. After that, she stopped my projections. Find the Oracle and make sure she's all right. I've enchanted a small boat to take you to an isolated part of Bleak Rock, near her last known location. And take this medallion of summoning. Use it to call upon me if the need arises. As it so happens, the great mage knows a great deal about a great many things. What else can I tell you before you go? Uneasy? I don't believe that's the word I used. Her prophetic verses tend to be loquacious and hauntingly beautiful. This one was terse. It mentioned trouble of some sort, a vanishing island and dark princes, probably Daedra. Well, trouble could mean almost anything, though nothing good. For to Arteum, the home of the Sigic Order, it disappeared more than 300 years ago. And I have heard rumors about some sort of Daedric alliance. You'll have to take that up with the Oracle. I suppose you figured into her vision, or whatever it is that spawns her prognostications. If this message came from anyone else, I'd say it was some sort of ruse. Mariv, however, is the genuine article. Surely you can puzzle that one out on your own. It will take you exactly where I told it to go. But the magic isn't permanent. Best get a move on. You don't want to be on that tiny boat in the middle of the ocean when the spell wears off. Give you the... What? Do you think I have a boat in my pocket? That it folds up and fits in your backpack? <laughs> Ridiculous! <laughs> it's nearby on the docks. I'll mark the location on your map. I did get the name the Oracle provided me with right, didn't I? I've magic the medallion so that you can use it to call me to your location, provided the need is great and I'm not otherwise occupied. Be sure to save it for a special occasion. Oracle Mariv belongs to the Weird, a sisterhood of witches that revere the natural world. Mariv started receiving visions at a young age. Over the years, she has provided the Mages Guild and the Sigic Order with warnings we could act upon. Never attempt to draw magicka from the environment like this in the field. Disaster will be your only reward. The usual sorts of dire predictions. Most recently, Mari foresaw the deaths of Kings Fulbert and Tamlian. She has an unusual knack, an ability to see into other realms as well as into possible futures. Makes her useful to the Sigic Order. Believe me, I tried. Mariv has always been a loner, even more so than her fellow Weirises. She said she had more to do and that you would come to save her. So get to it! Go save the Oracle! Then get her to tell you more about her vision. The magic harmonic resonance we still use today was developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of town. Welcome. Are you here? Or... Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. Vanus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, 
overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the artificer, to ensure our future success. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. When we're on guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. The system of Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. I suggest you begin by talking to Velast, our mistress of Incunabula. She often has tasks for new recruits. Good luck. You must be here to learn the craft, yes? Your alliance covers my considerable fees, allowing me to impart my knowledge at no cost to you. If you prove yourself, I'll certify you as a competent to fulfill crafting writs. Crafting writs are daily requests for crafted goods. You must be a certified crafter to fulfill them. Prove you know what you're doing, and I'll certify you. I'm authorized to train and certify provisioners, alchemists, and enchanters. If this interests you, we should begin immediately. Hmm. I suppose I should mention Milleneth. She certifies blacksmiths, clothiers, and woodworkers. If you're into that sort of thing. But that's uncharitable of me. She's a true master of the material crafts. Good. We should begin while things are busy for neither of us. There is much more I can teach you. What else do you hope to learn from me? A provisioner condenses the essence of ingredients into food or drink. A true artist balances palate with nutrition. I can share this noble profession. But I can only craft at a time. Understood? Provisioning is a rewarding yet grueling profession. Gruel, you see. I am capable of levity. On occasion. First you'll need a recipe and some ingredients. Then you shall roast a pig. Yes, I hope you don't think it beneath you. As bards learn lyrics before singing them, provisioners must work from recipes. A recipe specifies volume, proportion, and preparation time. Understanding these principles is key. I keep an old rival's recipe nearby. Go, find and memorize it. Return to me when you have done so. Provisioners are quite secretive, but all is fair in brews and stews. Some provisioners hide recipes in old drawers or shelves, thinking themselves clever. Better to memorize the recipe, than others cannot possibly learn your secrets. Should coin be of no issue to you, guilds often sell such items in their guild stores. You may also trade with an ally if they have any excess. The system of inter-evocative hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower. Shalador's legacy. The great man himself was the pioneer of this technique.
Now, I know some of you are wondering why I ban necromancy in my classroom. Trust me, the smell alone is worth steering clear. Roast pig is an easy recipe to learn, but difficult to master. Now, the moment of truth. Go to a cooking pot with your ingredients and follow the recipe. Return to me with the results, so your worth as a cook may be judged. know how long I've been looking for you. If you're working in cloth or leather, I'm your man. What can I get you? Do your trading here. Bring me your culinary creation so I might inspect it. 
I'll determine whether or not you deserve certification. Hmm, interesting scent. Do I detect a hint of Wamasu? No, that can't be right. Not how I do it, of course, but interesting enough to pass certification. You may now fulfill provisioning writs. Keep Your command of the crafts is impressive, but not yet in totality. I am still capable of instructing you. Enchanters harness the possibility of ruins, transforming them into the certainty of glyphs. I'll teach you, but I can only focus on one certification at a time. Is the potency, essence, and aspect. All beneath the stars bear these component concepts. When combined, they form glyphs, which add enchantments to items. First, you'll find these component runes. Then I will have you create a glyph. Absolutely, for such is the essence of enchanting. Runes of potency, essence, and aspect are the fundamental components of glyphs. Collect one of each variety before you return. I know of a cache outside this town. It is a rare exception for runes to be clustered so close together, so thank whatever gods you worship. Should the runes be absent, you must search further afield. There are many places one can find runes, but the ancient ruins of Tamriel are where I look first. Outside, primarily. They tend to gutter out if kept away from starlight. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? The quality of the steel from the Tisa is excellent. Have you seen the blades they're making up there? Stop a moment, please. Welcome. We're sending all newcomers to check in with Watch Captain Astania. She's on the docks, southeast end of the city. Nothing wrong. The Queen is in town. Her royal guard, the first Oridon Marines, insist everyone be locked. You know how it is.
Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Once you recover three runes, one each of potency, essence, and aspect, we shall begin the enchanting process. You likely notice their distinctive flares of light. We begin at the enchanting table. There you will combine a rune of potency, essence, and aspect. This simple puzzle forms a glyph. Jode Oko Jejota. Fresh flip.
Fair day, visitor. Please state your name for the record. Did I really just see that? I'll just write that down. By order of the first Oridon Marines, your presence in the Valkel Guard has been registered. Do your best to stay out of trouble and out of the way. Fare you well. Good. You are needing a good meal, yes? Everything I serve is sugar sweet and ready to eat. I'm told not to say, but your work is the best I've seen. Our secret, eh? 